Video response to some Lord Shadrach guy. Um, asked me a simple question in a video, so I figure I don't get a lot of videos just asking me a simple question, so what the hell, I'll answer it. Um, but it's a weird question in a way, just because the context. I have done videos on this stuff. But, you know, I just asked why I'm an atheist. And, um, yeah, the simple answer is because I'm not a theist. Uh, but it's really not that simple an answer when you think about it. Because I can say now I can make a lot of arguments, you know, about why I don't believe in God. Um, because now you have we have all this stuff. I mean, you have Darwin, you have Dawkins, you have all these kind of interesting arguments, and you, all the paradoxes. I mean, who who would be God's God? Who invented God? Who made God? How'd that get created? I mean, doesn't you know God doesn't answer a lot of questions. There's a lot of arguments you can make. You know, when you're an adult and you're articulate. But the the fact is, I mean, I was always an atheist pretty much. I mean, I never really believed the story. I never really had any confidence in the God. Um, I mean, I can I can remember being obliged to pray at night. You know, and do the um, you know uh, now I lay me down to sleep, something to take, and God bless, blah 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 blah, and. Uh, you know, and I, I did it, but I didn't do it with any, you know, the whole thing just seemed wacky. And so I guess that's where you have to go to is the, like, why did I never find the story compelling or believable? And uh, it's like the Santa Claus story. I mean, I never believed there was a Santa Claus. I mean, it was just, you're, you're told this story and you kind of just know they're lying to you. You just know, it's just too crazy because they can't answer any of the questions, you know, the, well, then why does, and why does, and we don't even have a chimney, so how does, you know, and you don't get any good answers. Or you get some kind of silly answer like magic powers or whatever. And that just never fit in my head. Um, I mean, you have to explain magic powers. You have to justify them somehow. I mean, Superman's more believable than Santa Claus, <laughs> you know, and, uh, or for that matter, God. And then part of it was, um, you know, there was just nothing about religion that was appealing. I mean, nothing about how they defined God, how they described what God was about, that was at all interesting. I mean, God didn't seem to give a damn, number one. I mean, he wasn't playing any active role. You're told this story about these people that lived way the fuck over there in some desert. You know, the same people that people are calling uh, all kinds of ugly names, um, you know, but they're the, f you know, that that's the, the sacred people of your God, you know, the religion they're trying to preach to you. And it's like, well, I mean, if those are the chosen ones, how come you're talking shit about them? <laughs> you know, so, I mean, even that, <clears throat> that little hypocrisy, I, you know, I remember that meaning something to me at a very young age. So, you know, we can go back to like five years old or whatever the number is. Um, you know, the first churching experiences. And what what is, there was nothing appealing about the church. I mean, it was this horrible place you go to where these jackasses just, you know, drone on and on and people sing jackass songs. I mean, none of it was appealing. Um, and, and the bottom line is that none of it had to do I mean, none of it. None of it, there was no, there was no penis story. There was no like, ah, and God created the magic penis to make Adam happy or something like that. I mean, if they would have, if there was some kind of book of penis in the Bible, I mean, I might have gotten it, you know, because even at that age, that was I already knew where the center of my being was, you know, and uh, if my soul existed somewhere, that's the, that's where it existed. And so none of it, none of it, it just none of it fit into anything I could relate to. It would just seem like a completely, it was like people were describing this alien planet, and that was he heaven. And I was like, well, why the fuck would I want to go there? It doesn't have any of the stuff I like. I mean, it has like pearly gates and stuff. Well, I like dirt. I mean, I like snakes and bugs and shit. I don't like, no, who, what the fuck am I going to do with pearly gates? Um... You know, and there was this like, oh yeah, and you go there and it's like church or something. You're gonna go sit around with Jesus and he's gonna preach to you all day, and then you're gonna sing some songs. Is that what? What the fuck is that? What the fuck are you gonna do there? I never got a good answer to the question. And, and what you were getting preached was just all this 
moralizing stupid crap that just didn't have any relation to do unto others. Well, of course you do unto others how you have others do unto you. What the hell else am I going to do unto others? Where I, I mean, I'm going to just punch them in the nose and expect they're going to treat me right? I mean, you learn pretty quick that, um, you know, you get what you give kind of thing in, in, in the real world. And you also learn, you see people, you see people with one leg or something, and you say, fuck, why did that have to happen? Why is that guy got to live with one fucking leg? And, and it was through experiences after that that it just became clearer and clearer that there's just no room, there's no place for this logically to fit into my head that there's some thing that created all of this crap and then obliges us to remind him every day that he should bless people because otherwise I guess they're going to get dead or something or unblessed and I have to tell him every fucking day to do it because he's so stupid um, or just, you know, it was, it's just, it, the whole premise is just idiotic, it's stupid um, so yeah, that's why I'm an atheist is because the, the, the theology stories, all of them, they're all bullshit they all don't make any sense whatsoever I mean, there's no... There's, there's, what fucktarded God would create a stupid world and, and then hide behind a rock somewhere? What the hell is that crap? Yes, I'll make a world and I'll hide behind a rock and play psych games with all the little creatures. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I was looking at other animals and saying, well, they're pretty interested in their lives. They're pretty involved. I mean, why is the, what, they don't have a God? No one's, no one's out for them. No one's looking out for them. I mean, that didn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me. I mean, even ant hills. I mean, you're looking at these ants and you're saying, shit, look at all the work these things do. And you poke on their little mounds and they fix it and they do all this shit. And you're, you're like, yeah, they're they're involved. They're living. Uh, so, you know, what what do you mean? They don't go to heaven? They don't have the same rights that I have? So even that didn't make any sense. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an atheist now because I'm a rational human being. Um, but I was a, a, an atheist at five years old because... That there was nothing about religion. It's 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 nonsensical. Every every inch of it, every millimeter of it, is just nonsensical. It just there's no way it explains anything. It doesn't, and, and there's no there's nothing genuinely human about it. I mean, it, it how do you relate to it? I mean, how how do you find comfort in the idea of being played with, of being ruled over by some some fucking creator you know who's decided that you have to pay for sins that somebody committed 2,000 years ago what what kind of well not even 2,000 6,000 whenever Eve was hanging out in the garden uh, I mean the whole thing is just crazy it's just crazy and, and so you know it's um I don't know how to answer the question. I mean, like I said, you can go through the list, the nine. I can list you all the things I've learned since I was five years old. But even at five years old, I wasn't a big enough sucker to buy this stupid story. It's a stupid story. I mean, that's part of it. I mean, I knew at five years old, I mean, I had sisters and, you know, we were family. And there was, you know, people lied and, you know, people played games with the truth. And uh, you saw it all the, all around you, and you saw all the pretense, you, you know, where you, there was all, always negotiations going on between people. You know, they never told the truth to each other, and you knew very young. Oh, yeah, well, you don't talk about Grandpa's big, ugly fucking nose, and you don't talk about this, and you don't say she's smelly, and you don't do this, and you don't do that. So you find out all the lying rules of life. And you realize that, well, Jesus, if people can't even tell the truth, like, day to day, like, in one day their their lies aren't even consistent, what the fuck is going to happen to a 2,000-year-old story? And, and, you know, you saw it all the time. And somebody go fishing, oh, yeah, I had a, you know, 10-foot fish, and but it fell off. You know, or some other bullshit story. And it's a fish story. And you, it, it just the whole Bible thing just sounded like such a fish story. I mean, come on. Uh, and and so well, whatever. Like I said, so I, I I never could relate to Christianity, and um, and by the time I was exposed to other religions, they seem even wackier. You know, <laughs> I mean they're probably no less wacky, no more wacky, um, <clears throat> but they seem even wackier. But they're even less related. I mean, we've sort of Americanized Christianity, but it's like those other religions aren't even Americanized. I mean, they 
don't even speak English kind of thing. You know, you could at least you imagine Jesus speaking English, you know, as much as you're not supposed to do that, you would imagine it. But, you know, you don't imagine Mohammed and the rest of these people doing any of that. And so it's like even less, there's even less of a connection to any of those other kind of religions. So anyway, that's an answer to your question. Um, <clears throat> I think it's more curious as to why you bother listening to my videos, but yeah, I really don't, I'm really pretty sacrilegious. I mean, if there was a God, he wouldn't like me much. And I don't like him much, so you know, at least we'd agree on that. Um, so I'll just bring up a little thing too, because this guy keeps talking about the, the Desert File guy, and apparently he's, Desert File said something about me being crazy or something, and you know, he doesn't deal with nutty people out of ethics or something. And I just thought that was kind of strange. I don't think I've had much contact with Desert File. Uh, he makes okay videos. I mean, he's a little eccentric. I mean, there's just no doubt about that. He's pretty eccentric. You know, but I don't dislike the guy. Uh, you know, he, like I said, sometimes he makes really good arguments about some things. But like I said, sometimes he's just too caught up in the detail. No big picture kind of stuff. Uh, he doesn't really talk about uh, the consequences of there not being a god. It's more about the fact that there isn't a god.